Hi, this is my new series of video coaching videos where I will be taking up questions from you all and trying to create videos around you so that your concepts in basal implants and immediate load implants will get more clear. So let me start with this amazing new question from Dr. Dhananjay. So Dr. Dhananjay has put, Good morning Rohan sir, for full mouth case, if we place two posterior implants, so what he says is if I place only two posterior implants in the 7 8 region and four implants in the anterior region and not place pterygoid. It's a very interesting question where Dr. Dhananjay mentions that he wants to avoid placing the pterygoid implants and he wants to place four implants in the probably in the pre sinus area and one more in the sinus area and not put the pterygoid implants. Will it work? Now this question is very interesting and if you all also want to put up such questions to me where I can create videos to help you do better work then you can join our inner circle whatsapp group wherein you can put up this kind of questions and i will try and handle you so placing the link and the scan code of the inner circle whatsapp group where you can join us we meet once in a week where we do more intense discussions on laser implants immediate load implants and practice management now let me quickly come to the question again so just come closer so what dr dhananjay says is that if I place, uh, just come closer please, if I place two implants, one or two implants in the sinus area, four implants in the anterior maxilla and not place the pterygoid implant, will it work? Now I think from this question it is obvious that probably uh, the doctor has not read my book which gives in-depth knowledge about all these concepts and why you should do and more importantly what you should be doing. Uh, the simple answer for this is no. The reason being that the sinus cortical is an unstable cortical. Remember that it is not about putting screws in the mouth. It is about forced diversion. So when you look at the sinus cortical, it's a very unstable cortical and when you place your implants over here, they can never be your terminal implants. The idea of adding a pterygoid implant is the cortical of the pterygoid implant. So where the pterygoid implant engages is a very highly dense and stable cortical and when you place your teeth taking support from there, it helps to distribute the forces in a sound stable cortical. So your balancing table, so this is called your balancing table should always be more than your occlusion table which will help in distribution of the forces in very stable areas of cortical. However, if you look at the same question in a different way, wherein let's say for some reason the sinuses are totally way up and now if you are placing a rigid implant, let's say KOS implant over here without placing the pterygoid implant, 100% it will work. So it is not about whether you can do or what you can do, it is about the implementation of the science which you will get only by reading the book back and forth 10 to 15 times. So both the books compulsory to read, try to understand what each implant is about. The rigid implant does not function like the BCS isoelastic implant and vice versa. So it is not like a common rule whether you should place below the sinus not place. It is about this system application which unfortunately I think gets skipped. And to help you out on this implementation, I once again invite you all to our inner circle group. And I look forward to getting more questions from you all in the inner circle group wherein I can fabricate this kind of videos to help you implement the concepts of basal implants better. Till next time, thank you.